say goodbye to Latte. We're rehoming her today. And that has a lot of emotions for us because she's had a lot of pivotal roles here on our farm. It's our first goat to go through kidding season, the first goat we've had to milk, and everything we've learned along our journey for goats and care for goats started with her. So it's uh it's an exciting time because of the next chapter, but it's it's mixed bag because don't tell anybody, but uh she might be one of our favorites. <laughs> so first of all, tell the people who you are. My name is Tina Evans and we're from Rocky Acres Homestead. Awesome. So you guys are here from Yes. Right around the corner. Yep. Yet again, members of our network. Remember that. Okay. Just because we're not here doesn't mean our people aren't here. Our roots run deep. So you guys have a homestead? Yes. You have goats on your homestead? Yes. Awesome. So she's going to a place where she's going to be loved and she's going to have friends? Absolutely. It's awesome. Uh, what are your goals? My goals are to raise goats, especially dairy goats, mm -hmm. so that we can freeze dry the milk. In the event that moms don't have formula for the babies, then we can provide that to them. Awesome. So listen. This is what we're talking about, the furtherance of our mission. Part of our research with Latte and bringing her to milk was similar ideas and goals for helping people. And the fact that she's going to your homestead with the opportunity to go into milk and really give an Im make an impact for people, moms, who need milk in a time where they can't find anything. That's the furtherance of our goal, and we appreciate what you guys are doing because that's the future of homesteading. Yes. Because when it was the old school, farmers fed the people. Yes. And helped all the people. Now we're bringing it back to that, and I'm really excited. And, uh, with that, I'll give you her leash. So thank you. It's an honor. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys. Thank you. I'm gonna try not to cry. It's okay. Tears are good. Yeah, she's a special one, man. So she will you. be loved and live a life of joy. It's a one. Yes. one bad day, and that's not today. Mike May, a.k.a. We will send it in live and direct from Poof Dirt Farms. I think we'll have baby laying down. Some of, Some of them stand up, which is crazy. Some of them lay in some of them But I'm worried about this right here. What is that? I know. <laughs> it hurts. I know. New mommy and daddy. I have no idea what this feels like, but I could imagine it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. I sympathize. <laughs> you had you had a bowel, that bowel movement before, I know. Too much fiber, too yeah. <laughs> chili, road trip chili. It's a different kind of pain, okay. 
There's somebody else coming. Yeah. Here. Take care of what you got going on. It's okay. You're okay. Okay, how long has she been pushing? Ten minutes. Okay. We still have some time. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. See, she has little plugs on her teeth. Pull them off. I, I didn't mean cold lady, I meant midwife. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? It was plugged up like it's a like a caulking gun. So Let's look at her other one. Yeah. See, how, like see how it has a little plug on it? Mm -hmm. Just pull it, just pull it off. And then watch. Oh, now feel that. That's the one. That is cool off from oh, super thick and thicker. sticky. Yeah. Good girl. There you go, girl. Get them out. Because I'm running out of words, the scream of a minute don't feel like giving me 